Oh, oh, bless you. Hey, Jack. Yeah. 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 Ah, protocol, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. Yeah. 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 Which basically means, uh, how are you? Uh, I had a great day. And when I say Munodagara, it means, how are you? Wow! San Monani, you melangi, abshengi, hello, nda, ni matekwa, ni moleni. Welcome to Car Chat Youth here in Machisa Media Project Studio. Yeah, I'm Tom, so I'm here. Not just here alone, I'm with Bamblesi. Finally! So that's a total. Uh, all right. Uh, I come along with you, blessing Tetwa. Um, I am in Dau, uh, mm. and um, uh, when we are greeting back in my language, we say Makaita uh, Wani, which basically means how are you in the morning. We say Mangwanani, um, which is morning, and uh, in the afternoon we say uh, uh, Maswera Sei, uh, which basically means. Like how was your day or how is your day going, and then um, uh, late in the day uh, we say Mabira uh, which means uh, how was your day. Yeah. All right. So uh, you are my basics now. You are police now. You are my basics. Yeah. He also took Sizuru. You are my basics. <laughs> As you know, we are not only focused on South African languages, so also focus on African languages. We go all out because we are one as African. We are one African in South Africa. We are one African. So, can you quickly please take me to numbers? I'm going to leave you up until, let's say, five. I'm going to say one. You're going to call it two. You're going to call it up until five. And we're gonna take it from five backwards up until one. All right. Ne? Let's start. One, bossa, two, piri, three, tatu, four, uh, jirongo muna, five, uh, jishano, five, jishano, four, jirongo muna, three, jitatu, two, jiri, one, chingwe, four, uh, jirongo muna. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I'm doing this, I want to do it again. I want to know it, guys. I want to know it. So, take me to the colors. Um, all right. Um, uh, basically, uh, when it comes to colors, most of the colors they are named uh, according to things that we normally uh, face uh, in our everyday life. Yeah. For example, I would say uh, in English, Fanana would say orange. Orange, uh, obviously, the color icon is derived from um, from the orange fruit. So we have found a ne amakala wesindao, amanyo kona anjalo, found a ne green, tinoti moriwo, moriwo which basically means lan lanoti nyoka moriwo. Uh, but uh, green actually is derived from the green leaves or the, the vegetables basically. Uh, then, or from the grass. Yeah, from the grass yeah. actually. The vegetable because yes. muriwo is also yes. another word for, for uh, like reddish vegetables basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we also have uh, red, tinoti uh, chichuku or chakachuka. Um, then um, uh, there is uh, this the colorful liver. Uh, I don't know how I would say it in English, but it's just called chiropa. Chiropa, yeah. Chiropa, yeah, uh, which relates to 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 and the color just goes to that. Okay. And then uh, we also have rota uh, for gray. Uh, rota is basically ashes, and the color for gray is normally related to that. Um, then uh, white is. Uh, Chichena, ana chakachena. Um, then black, chishipu or chakashipa. Um, basically, those those are the, the, the basic colors that I know. Yeah. Is there any specific color for the culture, the whole culture? Is it that like we know in Eastern Germany they have those specific cultures? Yeah. yeah. When the women when they are angry, there's the specific colors they're using to paint. When they are happy, there's the specific colors they're using to paint. Is there a specific color for the culture? 
Let me say colors. Um, I, I can basically say uh, normally the, the traditional colors, that, that is the way I can put it, uh, we have uh, black and white, then red. No, yeah, normally those are the colors that are associated uh, in Chindao. Those colors are called eh? black, yeah. uh, white, white, and red. red. Yes. Yeah, I can understand you going to. But can you quickly take me to days of the week? Oh, okay, okay. Um, Monday um, is Mufuro. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday uh, is Chipiri. Chipiri. Then uh, Wednesday is Chitatu. Thursday is China, mm -hmm. Friday Chishano, Saturday Mkubera, Sunday Soto. Sunday Soto. <laughs> yeah. Soto, Soto. Soto. Yeah. So, how do you create your yeah. language? All right. Um, I, I, I had given a snippet on that one as I was starting that in the morning we say Mangbanani. Okay. Mangbanani actually it means morning. Okay. So like it goes just like yeah. that. Yeah. Then um, uh, in the afternoon, Tenoti Masikati, uh, which is kind of Venda Masiari, but yeah. it's, yeah, it's Masikati. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. we we also have uh, then late in the day uh, we say Madekoni, um, which is also kind of Madekoni, but it's Madekoni. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. If you meet someone from the royal house or you meet a king, is there a specific way to create? If it is, how do you create it? All right. Um, uh, actually, the way we greet um, the, 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 the kingship family and the way you greet some random people is actually different, yes. Different. And, um, Mm. Uh, which basically means if we meet uh, the, 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 the royal family, uh, you have to you, you squat and then you say uh, uh, they are referred to as Mutape. Yeah. And Mutape means it's kind of your, your, your highness. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's the basic way that only makes a difference. The greeting is kind of the same, but then you have to put the word Mutabe, yeah. which is basically your, your, your highness. Yeah. yeah, let's go to the games. In South Africa, we have a specific game which is, is well known, soccer. You yeah. can go to India, it's yeah. well known, cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in Zimbabwe, is there, before we go there, how many languages? In South Africa, we have 11. 11 Official languages. Uh, uh, In Zim, how many languages do you have? Um, basically, when it comes to, to the languages, I think we have something like five five languages, uh, and most of the of, of the languages they are kind of the same with the language that we are having here. Like yeah. um, um, we have in Manikaland, uh, yeah. there is um, Chindao, which Chindao. is my language. Yeah. Then we, we, we have Chimanyika, yeah. uh, the language is kind of the same. Then we also have uh, Shona. Uh, Shona is actually a collection. Collection? Yes. Like English in South Africa. Collection. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like, like English in the world, yeah. basically, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you are having, in Shona, you have all the languages yeah. merged in to, 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 to form one language. To form, to form one language, which is Shona. Yeah. Yeah. But in Manikaland there is uh, Chindao and Manika. Then uh, in Mashonaland there is um, Zezuru, Nema Zezuru. Yeah. Then um, we also have Makaranga uh, in the Midlands area. Then we also have uh, Ndebele, uh, Abantona yeah, they yeah. Are, yeah, exactly. Uh, they, they, they occupy the Matebele area. Yeah. Then uh, we have uh, Changana. Changana Chaga Fanana ne 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 tonga. Tonga. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. Changana is just tonga and umuntu call me Changa. Yeah. He can actually relate and talk fluently with with, with Tonga or 
umshana na wapo Mozambique. Here in South Africa, we are cousins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, why is it? Because I had to say it, uh, two languages are more similar to the same. Just like Zulu and Sikosa, and you go to Sipedi, yeah. Kilobedi. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it relates to that. But the difference is that Shona, um, there is no one who can actually, like in the book, uh, there is no one actually who can claim what is shown as shown as shown in language you like your mother one like what's yeah. like, it's basically a collection of all the languages yeah. in Zimbabwe which were merged yeah. to form one language to form one language yeah, which is shown yeah can you quickly please take me through the games that is more powerful as I said earlier on here we have soccer which is mm -hmm. go to India that's crazy. Go to America to this basketball. Yeah, so yeah. in Zim, I would also like to know my neighborhood in Zim. Uh, what powerful sport? All right. Um, okay. It's if 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 we will be talking of like Isoga and stuff, like it's kind of obvious that yeah, they, they are they are the modern games. Yeah. But Pachindao, uh, Mutambo, into no Zia, we Um, uh, go before. Uh, which basically means uh, the, the, the game that I know that has been played a lot uh, is a shooting game. Uh, shooting game. Yeah, die. Uh, they would roll something like a wheel, a wooden, a wooden wheel, and then they will roll it, and you will be standing from a distance, and mm -hmm. you will be shooting. You will be having your mad arrows. I will yeah, be having arrows. my mad arrows, and yeah. then we will play the target shooting on it. So those are some of the. That's one of the games that that is there. Then um, a traditional dance, yeah. our traditional dance, uh, you know, so Chongoyo. Chongoyo. Yeah, that's yeah. the dance that we that we play or that we are labeled with, yeah. and it has been there for for, 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 for for as long as as far as our ancestors have been there. Oh, so how do you dance it? Do you dance it like Belewa is or like Zulu dance or or yeah. is there a specific way? Uh, it's yeah, it's uh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. specify I only I know a lot of South African dances, but then knowing that this is basically it belongs to, but it's more of a Zulu dance. Oh, more of a Zulu, yeah, 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 like yeah, it's, yeah, it's actually because uh, it's not a drum. But oh. it's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Then um, there are also other dances. Uh, one is Madanda, yeah. and Madanda. Um, it's a traditional dance that is related to Nganga. To Nganga. Yeah, like uh, the 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 the, the uh, what do we call it? Um, I'm trying to find an English word that 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 would. It's yeah. like um, a traditional doctor. Traditional yeah, doctors. Yes, yes. So uh, Madanda is more related to, to, to traditional doctors. Okay. Yeah. And Skune Yungu Yungu is a Mongo. It's a dance again, but it, it relates to, 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 to traditional uh, yeah. traditional healers. Yeah. So talking about dance, you remind me about some other culture, other cultures, because whenever after dinner at night, there was drums playing and they dance around the fire. Yeah. 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 So let's go straight into the tradition. What are protocols and procedures need to be followed during the marriage? All right. Um, uh, marriage. The, 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 the basic way for marriage is uh, yeah. yeah. If I if, if if I'm getting married to someone, they are denoting darora kwaningi or like darora which means I got married to. All right. So basically. Bakurorana, uh, do you know, didn't in the sense like if I am the guy who is getting married, um, after agreeing with with um, with the girl that I that I have chosen to marry, um, tinoenda kumuri ya choto to the introduce abavari. Basically, we go to the family, we introduce ourselves there, then. The aunties of the family will also come and introduce the girl in our family. Then the Lobola day will be will be um, will be set. 
then you go and get married by paying Amalobola. Amalobola. Yes. Then after that, they will bring Umakot to 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 the family that we um uh, that is paid the Amalobola and um Chado. Mm-hmm. Chado. Chado basically is called um Mutima uh, in Dao where the, 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 the family uh, the, 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 where the ladies' family will be bringing in uh, mm. Umakoti and on that day uh, there will be a party mm. and the name of the party is called Mutima. Mutima. Yes. So is there what are the traditional food? Alright. Um basically uh, our staple food mm. uh, is Sadza. Sadza, sadza, which is just pap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. Um, the way it's cooked is just the same with, with, with the South African way of cooking. We are the same. <laughs> we are the same. Yeah. Ah. So, if you actually look at it, um, you will see that um, we we do have like the, the, the vegetables, we do have mm. a nyama. Yeah. Uh, it's the same with. Yeah. with with the South African, um, with, yeah, with the South African. Is there any traditional beer? Yes. Um, the, the is, uh, normally these days they call it uh, seven days, but it knows Madamba. Madamba. Yeah, and. Um, Which is the name of Madamba? I don't know, like, I don't know, that's seven days. Yeah, then Kune knows the Chikeki, I don't know, one day. So. That's ah, the most yeah. traditional place. Yeah. Then obviously there is this illegal one, uh, the, the, the distilled one, uh, Toto. But yeah, then it's, it's not. It's you know when when the government came in and stuff, it it, it has been uh, labeled illegal because it's obviously dangerous. But it's part of the traditional place. Part of the traditional beer. Wow. So, how does the baby, the newborn, being introduced by a milk people? Alright, um, Gino Siana Gemuri, which means it, it, it's, it's a little different depending on the families. Mm-hmm. Uh, but basically, uh, there are two ways. Pachindao Chiri Dip, and Pachindao Chai Poche, Ugarora, Manono Barikopa Musibaro, which basically means if you get married, mm-hmm. normally the, the, the baby will. Uh, uh, the, 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 your wife will give birth at your family and get all the support from your family. Mm-hmm. But then there is also another way. Mm-hmm. Masungiro. Masungiro basically means after getting married, uh, comes in. But after that, uh, when Makoti is around six uh, months pregnant, uh, you will take uh, parcels, mm-hmm. then you will send her to her family so that she gets the support from her parents and, and her mom and, and her family. And then when the baby is like, uh, by the time that she gives birth, mm-hmm. um, they will then uh, bring back Makot. Yeah. Uh, they will come with uh, Imbuzi and stuff, uh, which basically means. Uh, culture, uh, which basically means that um, on the coming in of, of of uh, the baby of, of, of the uh, of the uh, of your wife's family coming in, they will uh, actually bring in the parcels too, to just to thank you and, and and when that happens, they will uh, the, 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 the the family the husband's family will take the baby and and do uh, a traditional ceremony uh, where they will tell the ancestors that mm-hmm. this is our baby is coming in and he is part of the family. Yeah. I heard a lot from the tradition. So, please, quickly, quickly, the last one. Take me to the beliefs. 
of right. the culture. Like, what do you believe? Like, me as I'm the the baby person, like uh, Kiruwiru, uh, uh, I believe in traditional healers, ancestors. But before ancestors, I call God first to lead me. So, what do you believe in? All right. Um, we are not going to mention um, the Christianity on this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, uh, like, uh, you had that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. So, uh, when it comes to when it comes to that, um, God, mm. God, the Creator of heaven and earth, uh, is called Mabota. Yeah. yeah. But then we have ancestors, which is Mudimu. Which is the family, the, 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 the family people who have passed away, uh, who are now coming in is the spirits that protects the family. Yeah. Yeah. So the belief that is there is that there is a creator, yes. which is Mabota. Mabota yeah. uh, creator, which is basically God. The, the general known word. Is Mari. 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 <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> yeah. So uh, that's the general word that is known, but Chindao Chagazama Chino to Mabota. So Vasharo Kavichidira, a Vanodira Kum Zimu, then voting was Ogumisa Namabota. Yeah, which basically means um, the, 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 the ancestors. Uh, are the family members who have passed on, who are now spirits that protect the family. Mm -hmm. So they, when we are, uh, when we, when the traditional, uh, when they are actually, what we are, when the traditional ceremony is being is, is, is being done normally, they will say, Mutzimu, uh, uh, take this to to Mabota, which is to God. Uh, so that's the basic belief. But then uh, there are a lot of different rituals that are done yeah. in, in, in that basically um, uh, one of them, Kudira. Ah, you heard that, Wafet, you mean I've learned a lot. Zim is more similar to South Africa. Wafet, we are one African, as I've said before. Please catch us. Next Monday, next episode on here, which is a video call uh, project. This was Culture Dude, my favorite. How about you? I'm Tomster. I'm here.